Before we do format and validate, what I want to do is actually initialize this project. So go up and create yourselves a new terminal if it's uh, closed or not. So I actually have two open here, so I'll just close the other one. And I'm just going to type in clear here. And what I want to do is type in terraform init. And before I do that, I just want to show you that right now there's only main TF in here. And so if I hit enter, uh, it's going to say terraform initialize an empty directory. Oh, you know what? I did it in the terraform associate by accident. So we're going to go into getting started here and type in clear and type in terraform init again. And so what it's going to do, it's going to pull uh, whatever providers and modules are defined. So all we have is a AWS provider. So that is what it's pulling right now. And so we'll just give that a bit of time to do that. Okay. All right, so after a short little wait there, you'll notice that we have this dot terraform directory and we also have this terraform lock HCL. So this is a dependency lock file. It's going to tell us uh, what version of modules or providers that we are using. Um, so because in the main TF, you know, we have 3.580, so that's gonna match exactly that. But if we said something like greater than or equals to, this could be a different version, right? So whatever version is set here, it's gonna make sure that it stays with that version as long as we're not changing it, okay? Um, so there's that. If we open up the .terraform file, this has information about our provider. So the provider is actually downloaded here. And this is a binary file, so there's not, there's not anything to look at when we open it up, okay? So now that init is done, what I wanna do is go ahead and show you format and validate, okay? All right, let's take a look here at format and validate. So format is just a way of making the files uh, uh, syntax consistent. And this is going to really help you uh, reduce arguments within your team because there's only gonna be one way to write a Terraform file. And if you don't write it the, the way to the standard, format's going to correct it or complain about it, okay? So one thing we can do is change the indentation level here. Uh, and what I'll do is run, in, run Terraform format. And notice that it fixed the indentation. So that's all there really is to it. It's just dealing with the uh, styling of the actual file. Um, I'm not sure if it would do anything for double lines. Let's see if that would take it out. out. I'm not sure. It doesn't. So, you know, it's pretty much just indentation and a few other things. Besides indentation, I don't know what else it would do. Uh, then you have Terraform Validate, and this is really useful to make sure that you have uh, particular fields required. So I'm going to go ahead and comment these out. I'm going to type in Terraform Validate, and it's going to tell me if my file is valid. And it's saying here, missing required. So um, it wants an AWS instance to have a instance type or launch template, right? So remember it said it was optional, but one or the other is required. So if we add this back in, Okay, and type in validate. We'll see if it works. And now it's saying if you specify an instance type, you have to also have an AMI. So we'll take that out there and type in validate. Okay, uh, another thing I want to show you is let's imagine that we just specified an AMI that doesn't exist, something like uh, this doesn't exist. I just want to show you what validate will do and what it will not do. So we type in Terraform validate. And it says it's valid because it's checking, you know, do you have the required uh, attributes and is it the right type? So this is a string, but it doesn't know the contents of that string, whether this is actually a valid one and does it match up to US East uh, one. So just consider that validate doesn't take care of everything for you, okay? So yeah, that's all there is to format and validate. And so we'll move on to actually setting up a plan, okay?